Hi, I'm Pete Thayer. In this video, we're going to see how to move custom photos, songs, and videos from the Gold Edition version 5 into the new version 7. Did you create any custom quizzes using the Gold Edition of our software? Have you downloaded any free quizzes from ThayerBirding.com? Or have you added any photos, sounds, or videos that you found on the internet? If you've taken advantage of any of these advanced features in the Gold Edition, it means that you do need to move photos, songs, and videos from version 5 into version 7. If version 5 is installed on a different computer than version 7, you'll need to move the custom media folder and the custom database onto a USB flash drive so that you can then copy these onto version 7 on your new computer. You will probably need to zip these files first to reduce the size. If version 5 is installed on the same computer as version 7, we just need to move the custom media and custom database files from version 5 into version 7. To do this, we need to go into the C drive on your computer and move a few files. To begin, find the computer icon on your desktop, right-click, and then click Open. Find the word Computer and then click the plus sign in front of it. We are looking for a folder called eViewer 5.0. To get there, expand your C drive, then expand Program Data, and look for Thayer Birding Software. Some versions of Windows may not let you see Program Data, but this is easy to fix. Just go to the Control Panel. You may want to pause this video while you go make the Program Data appear on your computer. Next, click on the Version 5 Custom Media folder on the left. We want to see three other folders on the right, Photos, Sounds, and Videos. Right-click the Photos folder, then drag and drop it onto the Custom Media folder under Version 7. You probably want to delete your old Version 5 once Version 7 is all set to go. So select Move here. If you do want to keep version 5, select Copy here. Most people will select Move, but if you do want to keep version 5, select Copy. But in any case, you should always back up your custom media and custom database folders to a USB flash drive and keep this in a safe place. We just dropped the Photos folder onto something else that already had a Photos folder. This is asking if we want to merge the two. The answer is yes. Here we see that the photos from version 5 are currently being copied into version 7. Just wait until this finishes. When you're done with photos, drag the sounds folder onto custom media version 7. After that, drag the videos folder onto custom media version 7. Again, we're being asked if we want to merge the two folders, and again, the answer is yes. Okay, we've imported the custom media files. Now we need to import the custom database file. Under version 5, look for the database folder on the left. Click this, and you will see the custom database.mdb file on the right. Right-click the version 5 custom database, then drag and drop it onto the version 7 database folder. Then click Move Here, or if you're keeping version 5, click Copy Here. We're going to replace the custom database, so click Copy and Replace. We're assuming your version 7 custom database is empty. And that's it. At this point, things like your custom quizzes should all be visible. And all your custom media should be visible as well. This video has showed you how to import photos, songs, and videos from version 5 or 5.5 into the new version 7. 